Hello, today is Friday. It is June 5th. What a week. What a last 50 days. Market history here, my friends. It's been the fastest upswing in 50 days in history. Um, uh, unbelievable. I'm surprised, though I'm not complaining, obviously. So here's the summary. This is basically 227, so we're, it's not at the close yet. When you see days like this, this causes a lot of optimism, which is great. It should. We had decent economic jobs information coming out, and it led to a nice upswing, a nice surprise beat by a lot too. So that is great news. Now, I'm not going to be the person that says you should be concerned here. We shouldn't be concerned, but I want to be realistic and say, don't be surprised. I don't know when it's going to happen, but don't be surprised if we see a little bit of pushback or a little bit of give back, a little digestion. Guys, this week, the last 50 days, the last 50 days is basically a 40% gain in an index. That is nuts. Take it. Be happy with it. it whether it surprised you or not, take some off so you can add at lower pricing. Now, do I think mid and long term we are higher? I do. I really do. We're seeing a lot of really good signs. As we always say, there's nothing like price to change sentiment. So what you're seeing now is analysts that were bearish thinking the world was going to end basically say, I'm bullish now. What do you think they have to be now? We've had a 40% rally. And usually when these rallies happen, it does continue to it does go much higher in the mid and long term. But are you going to see five, five, ten percent dips along the way? Yes, it, it's a reoccurring theme. And if that happens, I think it actually leads to even better things. If we just go to all time highs without a test with all these gaps up overnight, I, I, I think you got to be really careful and question the risk reward. So long term, mid term, love it. Not no complaints. Um, it is interesting and it's something that I'm noticing today. This was actually negative earlier. The Qs, um, the NASDAQ tech companies was actually negative earlier. Um, we were seeing a rotation out of tech names and into the value names. Um, the value names have just made a ton of money the last few days. So um, the summary is this. Have we done perfectly during this dip? We did very well during the dip got out a little early unfortunately on the way up just being realistic with you i'm very frustrated with that i'm not happy about that whatsoever um, but i also don't have a crystal ball and i had a little bit of a buffer to keep pace with the indexes that we're trying to so we got out about for most clients around 3380 about 50 percent out at that point and which prevents you know a 35% dip into about 1718, which that still is horrible, but saving those gains, we try to smooth the, the, the smoothing out the curve a little bit on the way down. Um, so we did really well on the way down or prevented a decent chunk on the way down. And on the way up, we actually did very, very well. In fact, we bought this March 20th for most clients um it was this one march 20th i sold um two days ago at basically 87 just above 87 so it's gone a little bit higher but guys you cannot get greedy in this environment be thankful for it i'm taking the gain and running um i think it will go higher um but maybe not short term that's basically my summary so some other good purchases, again, not all clients, this is not a recommendation to own any of this. None of this is a recommendation or a solicitation whatsoever. Um, though you can see, we have some nice winners and some losers. For diversification purposes, we did have some in there that um, in case we were wrong, it would help protect. So our second largest winner was <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Um, and I usually don't play these trades, but I was seeing a rotation and took advantage of it. It's an ETF of airlines. 
Okay, so bought it May 18th. Not everybody owned this, but m many did. And um, we sold this today, and that was over a 60% gain. So it's given back some of its gains. This was up 14% earlier. Um, another big one was PAGS, um, a really nice win. Again, this is, it, just to show you how hot the market is, this is in a matter of, of basically two to three weeks. That that's insane, guys. We got to be realistic about it. Um, some of our losers, to be candid with you, um, gold we use as a hedge is down a little bit, but really not that much. Really, today's losses are a result of why we are negative. So um, it'll be interesting to see if we get a rotation. Could we get a short squeeze and the market go a little bit higher into close? Yes, you're asking, Jonathan, why are you making this video right now? I'm protecting myself from making a dumb decision. I wanna hold what I'm holding. Um, I still hold the financials. I still hold um, industrials, and those have been great moves, and those are ETFs. I wasn't playing games. I was just gonna buy the ETF, which I rarely do. I mean, a Dollar Tree is an individual name that you'd be like 20% in that short of a period. That's crazy. That's how hot things, that's not, things are. I'm not bragging about any of these. Um, I wish I would have had more invested in clients' accounts. Um, I think we will see better pricing than we see today, um, but a little disappointed, actually very disappointed in the way um, we handled it on the way up, on the way down, was very happy, did have room to basically say, I'm not liking the risk reward and unfortunately the market exploded So to the upside. So Again, it's it's a tough a tough market, um, but we are in general keeping pace with the indexes that we want to based on the client's risk tolerance. So we're doing completely fine, but boy, has it been a frustrating last couple of weeks. But again, don't be bearish long for a long period of time. I'm not bearish, I'm actually bullish. I'm just surprised it's gone this much this fast. So no complaints, because clients are still making money. Um, but not as much as I would have liked. Um, so just being candid with you there. Um, that is that chart. It's something that does concern me and we are not really seeing any sell signals yet. Um, but there, there's a point in time where if you have a, a 60, 111% gain in three months, you take the gain. Um, that's just what we believe. We believe cash is a position. The put call ratio. So this shows some complacency in the market. I mean, when you have this rally, it's basically a complete V up, which completely fine with that. However, usually when you get to these levels, usually you see a nice little dip, but there is a lot of optimism and still a lot of cash and people that aren't believing in the rally that could push this higher. So wanted to be real with you to say, hey, I'm frustrated. Um, but I'm not gonna make any irrational decisions. Um, I'm going to base it on what I'm seeing. Price action is fantastic. So I'm not seeing any more reason to sell, um, but I'm not, I'm very cautious in buying at this point, if that makes sense. So we have a, a whole list of names that we're constantly watching um, and looking forward to putting those to work on a dip. And I hope a dip does happen because it'll make this, um, rally more sustainable in my opinion. So love what we're seeing. Thanks for your patience. Again, did really well on the way down. Did okay initially. We actually got very close to timing the bottom, but just got out a little bit too early. Um, that is the summary and I'm just being realistic with you. I'm frustrated with that. Um, we will um, work our hardest to make sure we play a little catch up there, but really we are performing the same as an index is just, it's hard mentally um, to know where we would be had I kept just staying invested at that time. So we would have been absolutely killing the, the market at that point. But again, we're still keeping pace, which is good, um, but it is frustrating right now. I'm just being real with you. So I'm gonna get some sleep and you're like, again, why are you talking to us at 2.36? It's so I don't make a dumb decision that a lot of times you can make a dumb decision when you're in these high stake moments, like everybody and their brother wants to buy right now, which is usually not a good time to buy. 
um, it, you follow the price action and keep the positions on that you have, but you got to be really careful what adding short term, long term, you'll be fine. Um, but short term, I want to get a better entry for my clients. That's the way we invest. So hope that helps. Let us know if you have questions. Um, again, thanks for your trust. This is primarily for clients. So if you have a completely different strategy that it's fair and that's fine and good for you, um, let us know if you have questions. Thanks again. Bye.